Hello folks, this is Sula speaking, and you're watching a commentary video on League of Legends, this one featuring Annie. And what I'm trying to focus on in this video is a little bit about unit positioning and how to initiate in terms of combat. Right there at the, uh, that maybe that was sort of the wrong place to take a break in the video. But right at the end of that last video, I went back to buy because I had taken a lot of damage and I wanted to uh, have a chance to heal up while Rise and Master Yi were pushing my tower. So I went back to base, I healed, I bought, and then immediately teleported back to the lane where I was able to catch the two of them. And because the two of them were together, I decided to use Tibbers against them. So possibly a bit of a waste, not 100% sure, but using Tibbers there allowed me to do a lot of damage to the two of them. I was able to hit Tibbers with both of them and stun them and also get them with Annie's Incinerate, which hits both of them. So they both took a lot of damage. They had to go back to heal. Or I think that Master Yi went back to heal. He took a lot of damage since I'm only seeing Rise here right now. And it pushed back that attempt on our tower. So uh, Tibbers is on... I mean, not a short cooldown, but as far as ultimates go, not a ridiculous cooldown. You can see I've already got down to about 40 seconds left, so I think it was worthwhile to use it there. And now I have my stun, so I'm going to use it to harass Rise. I'm going to come in, disintegrate, incinerate, and oh, I guess Master Yi was still there. Uh, I probably could have killed uh, Rise if Master Yi uh, had not come out of the bushes there. So, anyway... Yeah, now they are pushing the lane forward yet again, so that means they're going to be very ripe to get some kind of a to get hit from behind. So, meanwhile, I'm going to farm uh, farm up these minions. They'd like to come forward, but they just don't have that much of a minion wave. And I'm not using my spells because I'm getting a stun queued up. You can see I'm at four. I can use molten shield into a stun and get them immediately. I need about five more seconds for Tibbers to come up. So again, the timing is perfect. Mookie is right there. So I'm going to come out. I'm going to stun Master Yi. Follow that up. And then Mookie gets a great Ash Arrow, which uh, which gets uh, Master Yi. And then Mookie flashes, and then auto attack, and that gets Yi. So that was extremely well done by Mookie. Flash. He got he flashed uh, flashed to get Master Yi before he was coming away. So once again, similar initiation. I actually initiated with Disintegrate there instead of Tibbers, which was probably a mistake, but whatever. Uh, initiate with my, initiate with the Any Stun, and then follow that up once again with the Ash Stun, and that's just a very powerful combination. So we get two kills again. Punctuated by Mookie getting off that great flash. Uh, what would have made that even better is if we could have had mostly harmless's Nunu uh, channel his ultimate absolute zero. That would have slowed everybody, but mostly harmless was just a little bit out of position there. Didn't matter too much though because we were still able to get the kill. So even though they spent all that time pushing that top lane, they the rise and the mastery were not able to get our tower. Now I saw that the bottom lane was going to be pushed, so that's why I headed down here. Again, part of playing this game, after a while, you'll get a sense for sort of what's going to happen. I could see that the this lane was about to be pushed. And oh, poor Tibbers, he walks all the way down here from the base. And then, sadly, Tibbers gets killed uh, right before he's going to come out. And again there, farmed up the uh, melee minion there. Once again, remember, uh, two shots from the tower and then an auto attack will usually finish off the melee minion. So just keep that in mind. Now, they're pushing forward with four in the middle lane. So that's our cue to come up here and try to support. And I'll drop a word at Dragon as we go. So Donsky and I are heading up here. And uh, I guess mostly Harmless got killed. I'm not exactly sure why, but he's well in front of the tower. So again, not not good positioning. You want to be behind the tower in a situation like that. Now Donsky's going to get in a stun on LeBlanc. And I'm going to follow it up. And I, I was trying to use Tibbers here, but it was still on cooldown for like two more seconds. So I'm just waiting for it to come off of cooldown. I'm going to initiate instead with Disintegrate. And then drop Tibbers right into the middle of everybody. Focusing on LeBlanc, I actually killed a LeBlanc clone. Meanwhile, everybody's attacking back and forth. Mookie puts down Scion, and then I'm gonna, I am gonna—I was going after uh, Shaco there. I'm going to get in another stun on Rise, and notice now he's stunned, which means I can follow that up with Disintegrate, Incinerate, and that's going to finish him off. So even though the Tibber's usage wasn't great, that stun was able to, to uh, allow us to get the kill. So we pick up two kills there, I believe. I think we got Scion, and we, we got Rise. I think that was it. Not 100% sure. So, uh, and yeah, you can see someone on the other team says, LOL, Ash, that ult. Once again, Mookie got in a great stun with the Ash arrow, which uh, was a major factor in us being able to win that combat. And there I'm going to kill one of Shaco's little jack-in-the-boxes. Right here, Mookie wanted to go back to base because he was almost out of mana. So what we decided to do was, I decided I would stay here in the lane, right here in the middle of uh, dealing with these minions just to push them back. Meanwhile, the other three members of our team... Mostly Harmless, Donsky, and Maleficent all headed to do the dragon, which is the smart play. The other team can't really challenge us. And again, notice here comes LeBlanc trying to gank me, but I can see her because uh, because of that ward we've got there. And then Mookie gets in another great stun to prevent Scion from getting me. 
And meanwhile, LeBlanc comes forward, but she's not going to be able to chase me. And my Molten Shield possibly saved me from dying there since it added the extra armor and magic resist. And of course, Mookie getting in that Ash Arrow was key as well, so th which took Scion out of the fight. So, so well done, again, just showing sort of how useful and versatile that skill can be. I'm going to heal up and then teleport back into the fight, just because I feel like a team fight's probably going to be breaking out here soon. Now, I once again, I have my stun up. Again, I'd prefer for it to be one off of my stun, but now that I'm here, I'm not going to cast a spell. Once again, we're looking for the initiation. We want to initiate. And look, Ryze comes a little far forward, so I'm going to initiate with Tibbers, and then Donsky gets in a great stun from Tarek as well, so that's an instant kill. And then the rest of the team comes forward. We're going to kill Scion, and then Mostly Harmless is going to kill Master Yi. And so we kill three members of the enemy team with no losses on our own side. So again, the initiation is key there. I was able to get that stun with Tibbers, and Donsky followed it up with a great uh, stun from Tarek as well. So that's how you want to do it, and you can see that just because we were able to initiate with those stuns, it completely wrecked the other team in terms of setting up that team fight. Now LeBlanc is trying to defend this tower, and Mookie told us if she comes forward, I'm going to arrow her, and sure enough, there's the arrow. Uh, gets, the, gets off a stun, and then I follow that up with a second stun, and so she's not able to get out of there. Then we just calmly retreat back away from the tower fire, and that gets us another kill and another tower at uh, no cost to our own team. So again, those double stuns just completely dominating this other team. When used effectively, stuns really are key in this game. Now we see that there's two of them defending that tower. And with us having taken a lot of damage, we decide we're not going to push our luck. And we're going to back it's off and... Uh, go down and try to protect this bottom lane. Right. You can see that Shaco's pushing down here. We don't think that we'll be able to get Shaco unless he really screws up, but we have to push back this, this minion wave, and we weren't going to get into the base anyway, so it seemed like the right thing to do. Alright. Anyway, just going back and forth here, trying to get a little bit of extra gold, a little bit extra experience. I now have almost 1,500 gold, so I'm going to go back and buy. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need to heal, but it's useful to get a few more items. Yeah. The next thing I was going to build towards was Zanya's Ring. And I almost had enough to purchase a needlessly large rod, so I probably should have gone out and farmed just a little bit more and then taken the needlessly large rod instead of the blasting line. So maybe a little bit of a strategic misplay there from me, but not the biggest deal in the world. I did was able to purchase another ward and get that blasting line. And again, as always, wards are key. You definitely want to make sure that you have good ward coverage. The fact that we had some of those extra wards made a huge difference in terms of setting up some of these fights. All right, now we, it looks like another team fight is getting ready to break out in the middle lane, but we don't quite want to fight yet because we want to get Mookie who, and Maleficent to join us. Although we don't want to go in with only three members of our team. Almost got that minion. Now look, notice how Rise thinks he's invisible here. He, but again, we've got that ward. So we are going to initiate on Rise here. Mookie initiates with his arrow, and then I follow that up with Tibbers. And in all, wow, he really died fast. Granted, that was probably a waste of Tibbers. I probably should have saved that. But at the same time, the value of being able to kill one member of the other team is not to be overlooked because now it's a four versus five, and Rise is one of their big damage dealers. So um, not necessarily the worst play there either. But um, I probably should have just used another stun. I probably should have just used, like, Disintegrate instead for a stun and, and save Tibbers for later on. Oh, wow. Now, again, three of them are in here in the middle. So that means it's a little bit tough in terms of pushing in. And so we decide, let's not try to push in here. Let's try to go to another lane. And you can see the bottom lane is being pushed, so we're going to head over there. Muki fires off a hawk shot, so we can see that we uh, they don't have sight over here yet. Shake, now Shaco is finally starting to come out of the base and head over in this direction. So we're going to focus on the tower here, and with all of us attacking, it's not going to last very long. I come forward, and now this is bad positioning on my part. I've been I've been caught a little bit too far forward, and that, now Donsky's come a little bit far forward. Now that the tower's down, we can start fighting. So um, we're, I'm going to focus on Scion, try to attack him, and Mookie gets a kill. Mookie gets the kill with the Ash Arrow there, or actually mostly Harmless got the kill. Now I've come too far forward, so my positioning is bad here, and that's why I'm getting attacked so much by the enemy team. So they do a lot of damage to me here. But fortunately, they're, they don't do quite enough, and I'm going to be able to get out of here. And meanwhile, Ryze tried to come out behind us. We were able to get a kill on him, and then Mookie was able to get a kill on Shaco as well. So more good kills there. I'm going to head back to base, and now I can teleport back into the into the fight. With uh, I can teleport back into the fight if they need me, because I have teleport. And again, it's a shame that I... Uh, didn't purchase that needlessly large rod before because now I might be able to purchase a blasting wand to go with it or something like that. 
So instead, I'm just going to sit on the 1,000 gold or so. Oh, well. I decided it looked to me like they were not going to be able to push into the base, so that's why I decided to go to the top lane instead and just try to farm oh, some of these minions, get a little bit of extra gold, get a little bit of extra experience. Because, again, none of us are level 18 yet, so experience, getting extra experience does actually make a big difference at this point. All right, so right now it yeah, looks like we are yeah, going to... Yeah. It looks like we're stealing their blue buff, their golem buff, over there on the other side of the map, and then we're probably going to get out of there and uh, heal up and get ready for another push. We were able to get another tower on that particular push all over on the bottom lane last time. The other team got one yeah. kill. They were able to kill Donsky, I believe, but that was all they were able to get. And we were able to get, I think, three kills and get their tower. So, of course, clear, clear edge to us on that. I was going to go back to the top lane and continue farming, but then it looked like another team fight was getting ready to break out in the middle lane. So I figured I should probably come over and support the rest of the team. And we were saying something like, "All right, well, if you know, if they really want to fight us, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, if they want to do another team fight, we'll, we'll happily engage in that because we're pretty sure we can win." Mookie already has an Infinity Edge with Ash, and so that's going to make a big difference going forward. That's going to give us a big edge in any fights. I've got my stun queued up. I'm ready to go. The rest of the team's ready. So we are put. We are sort of zoning them back here. They're all retreating, and we made it look like we we're going to go into their into their base th uh, in the middle lane. We catch Shaco over here, but of course Shaco can go invisible, and that's going to allow him to get away. We are we're going to sit in these bushes and wait to see if any of them were foolish enough to come out and chase. So, uh, well, actually, some of us went off to the top lane, but we're like, oh, please, please come in here, please come in here. So, Tarek stun, Tibur stun, and Master Yi is going down very easily. So he ha he has no chance. Uh, again, if they had had a sight ward there, it would have uh, would have made a big difference. So Master Yi goes down, double stuns again, make a huge difference. That time, Donsky initiated with uh, the Tarek stun, and that made that was key. I mean, not that Yi had much of a chance there anyway, but still. Now Donsky initiates again, gets a stun on Rise. Mookie follows it up with a stun on Rise, and then I think I actually get the kill. Now we go after Scion, who's been caught forward of his team, and he doesn't really have a chance either. So that's it. The other team decides to surrender. And so that ultimately is going to be the end wow. of the game. Wow. One of the key factors in that game, in terms of the team fights, was on multiple occasions, you had we had Rise getting caught out in front of the rest of his team, and then getting stunned, getting stunned either by an Ash Arrow, or getting stunned by, by Tibbers, or getting stunned by the Tarek stun. And of course, once we can take one of their champions out of the fight, that just makes the big difference. So... This game, I think, really highlights both how you want to try to initiate and also the importance of positioning. If Ryze had been back behind the rest of his, uh, the, the more tanky champions on his team, it could have made a big difference in those team fights. All right, anyway, just looking at terms of the numbers here, pretty good game overall. My farming numbers looked a lot better at the end of the game than at the beginning. Uh, Mookie and I ended up in tops in terms of farming once again. We actually had identical 6-0-10 marks, which is pretty good. Maleficent, well done. Donsky, well done. Mostly harmless. You struggled a little bit in the laning phase, but much better job in the team fight phase. Um, when we get those stuns off, if you're going to play Nunu, you can... You can get in there and use Absolute Zero. It uh, might be a good idea to take Summoner Flash, uh, flashing into the middle of the enemy team and then using Absolute Zero as a key play. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope it was maybe a little bit instructional, and I hope you enjoyed seeing the 06 champion, 06 Scion with a Majai Soul Stealer. If you're wondering why I don't buy the Snowball items, that's why right there.